a movie review. That's right, you heard it correctly. We're going to be reviewing a movie? Yes! That's right! And so today, I'm going to be reviewing this film, Atterados, also known as Terrified in the English translation. I watched this movie on Shudder. I have, uh, I got AMC Plus because of Better Call Saul, so I've been going through what's on AMC Plus, and they got the Shudder collection, which has Adorados on it. This is an Argentinian movie. And I'm going to be honest, so this was the poster, this is what they showed me on AMC+, Plus, like this image of like the ghost with like the crack in his skull. And I'm going to be honest, like, this is what I like to see. This is what I like to see, okay? I like to see films and games, like anything, like Mega Man 2 is a great example. But like, or Mega Man 1 I should say, like where the box art, or the cover, or the poster is like not even remotely related to what's in the film like now again the film has stuff that's kind of like this you know what i mean like i get the themes i get where the the poster came from but like 99 percent of the film and 99 percent of the ghosts in the film have like have nothing to do with this but anyway so it's an argentinian movie so you need to use subtitles unless you speak spanish i guess um and so the movie is basically about a suburb where everyone gets fucked up by ghosts. And, like, it follows, like, it starts off with, like, one family. You know, it's a husband and wife. And the wife hears voices and then gets killed. And then, like, the husband's in jail because he got pinned for it. And um, then, like, some investigators, some paranormal investigators are like, you know, we, we know you're telling the truth. We're going to figure out how to solve this. The thing I like about this movie most is that there's some non-linear storytelling. Like, the intro is, like, maybe, like, the 70% or 80% waypoint throughout the movie. Maybe even 50%. It, there's a little... I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. But, like, yeah, I think the intro scenes are, like, halfway through the movie. And then it goes back in time. By the way, the best part of this movie... An eight-year-old child gets smacked and blown into a pulp by a fucking bus. Now, again, I've said this many times. Any movie that's willing to kill a child, it's bold. You need to have brass motherfucking balls to kill kids in movies. Same thing with a video game. Like, you know when you play, like, fucking any Bethesda RPG and all the kids are immune to everything? When I play Fallout, or if I play Elder Scrolls, the first thing I download is the Killable Kids mod, right? Because it's just realistic. But anyway, any movie, any piece of media that kills kids, I'm in. I find it impressive, okay? You know, I, I, you know. But anyway, but the way that this kid dies is also pretty great. Like... A bus just comes out of nowhere and blows them into bits. Like, it's great. So anyway, and then the kid's corpse, like, just walks back home and sits at the dinner table, di dinner table, right? And then, like, then that's when paranormal investigators come, like, oh, shit, there's a zombie kid. And there's a scene where they're, like, looking at the corpse, and, like, one of them is like, I think I saw it move. And then the other guy who just got there is like, I don't know about this. Maybe. And then, like, it moves slightly. And then they go like, did it just move? I, I like that scene. This movie overall, it's an 85 minute horror movie. It's short. The acting, I just want to, like, the acting is probably the worst part of this movie. Like, the acting is not that great. But also, like, any movie that you watch, like, that you don't speak the native language, it's hard to really gather how good the acting is. So I, I, don't, I feel as an English speaker... And as someone who's not a Spanish speaker, I can't accurately judge the acting too much. I feel like I'm just not capable. But all I know is that, like, w the main characters were just... Something was off about the acting. That's all I know. Um, and But maybe, again, that's because I'm a racist gringo. But either way, um, I thought this movie was okay. Like, it's very okay. 
like it's 85 minutes so it's like one of those movies that's like you just toss it on what's the worst that could happen you lose 85 minutes so you're like whatever um check it out if you want the ghost stuff was pretty cool i'm not gonna lie the ghost stuff was the best part of the movie like there's one point where it, like i was thinking is this gonna turn into a paranormal activity film and then like the ghost like destroys the camera and then that's it you know um so like you know I'm in. I think this movie has enough going for it that it's worth watching. One of the core things in this movie is that, like, you can only see the ghosts if you look at them from the right angle. So they do this thing where, like, the back of the head, right, you, the camera's behind the actor, and then the camera's over here, and you don't see the ghost. But then the camera goes behind them, their head takes over the whole screen, the whole frame, and then you can see them when the camera comes out on the other end. Right, so they do this thing where it's like you have to look at the right direction to see the ghosts. I think that's interesting. I think the jump scares were well-timed. They didn't overuse, like, this movie does not have that many, like, really cringy jump scares. Um, so I'm into it. But overall, you know, if this is the kind of horror movie, if this sounds even remotely interesting, if you're into this kind of horror, check it out. If not, you could probably skip it. This isn't a masterpiece or anything. But I like watching obscure movies. I like watching horror movies I, any kind of movie that's billed as a horror movie i'm into watching it i don't care if it's so bad that it's bad i don't care if it's so bad that it's good i don't care if it's just cheesy i don't care if it's just boring if it's a horror movie i'll try to watch it that's my favorite genre um but anyway Aterados, aka terrified check it out on shutter